Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Art Bros, or oh, oh, Art, Boo. Art Booze. It is October, and we are continuing our yearly tradition of doing scary pieces mm-hmm. for our shows and episodes he called Art Booze. Yeah, man, this is, a, this is it right here. Yes. This, this is living. This is the life. <laughs> Fancy Dave is a huge fan of Halloween, so we do this to say thanks, Fancy Dave, for being chained to this editing table and editing all these videos all the time. Mm-hmm. Here's your freedom. Yep, it's going nuts. <laughs> Guys, every year we talk about Francis Bacon's work, and this year's no different. Nope. We're going to uh, do this year, well, what did we do last year? We did Screaming Pope. We did the uh, head one. The head one. And this year... We are doing pretty much the piece that got him famous. Yep. Three studies for figures at the base of a crucifixion. Mm-hmm. Or otherwise known as the triptych. Yeah. Or otherwise known as what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what I think when I see this. Fancy Dave, mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you to just give me the basics the here? basics of this. And then I'm going to ask you to describe what the hell is going on. All right. All right. So this was uh, completed in 1944. It's oil on board. On board. Mm-hmm. Of course, as I'm we said, board. it's. Uh, I'm on board with this. Mm-hmm. By Francis Bacon. <laughs> Dimensions are 94 by 74 centimeters, and it's housed in the Tate in London. Ah, the Tate. Mm-hmm. This is here's to you, Tate. Yep. There we go. There we go. What is going on here? What is happening? What is happening? Uh, the figures that Francis Bacon was trying to portray here were the Furies, which in Greek myth are deities or beings that. Uh, pretty much are just full of vengeance. Mm-hmm. Appropriate. Uh, yeah. What's kind of interesting about th- this piece, though, is since it's, these are, in, you know, three studies for figures at the base of a crucifixion, these are actually intended to be part of another piece that had a painting of an actual crucifixion. Hence uh, the title. Yeah, so similar to what you would see in the background of an altar. Right. One of those things. So these were going to take the place of the saints mm-hmm. that would go under the crucifixion. But they're not saints. These are beings of vengeance. <laughs> and not that, they're from Greek myth. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a mixing of religions going on here. But at least with the intention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's something kind of interesting going on here. Uh, however, when you look at the figures, or one of them to the far right is just like screaming, like, like yeah. in almost agonizing mourning for if we had seen what the crucifixion was portrayed oh true true which you don't see because it was never done right uh one in the middle is kind of like sallowed down like it's it's covered by a cloth or something the eyes are yeah, the, yeah. there's supposedly some sort of blind blinding going on mm-hmm. well we can assume and its mouth is more subdued but no less creepy as fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think it's the teeth that does it for me yeah and to the right, uh, all the way to the left, I meant, we have a almost like in complete mourning. Like, you don't even see any expression of, like, any human features, at least for the face. Right. It's, it's all covered in hair. Yeah. Or like, yeah. It's so it's, it's just down, like, yeah, like, like don't really, look at me. What's that or word? I don't want to look up if the crucifixion had, had been had been presented like originally planned. You're right. I didn't yeah. even notice that. You got two figures who can't see what's going on and they're kind of very docile and submissive. Mm-hmm. And you have the one who doesn't even have any eyes but is looking up in that direction. He's screaming. Mm-hmm. You're right. That's So I I would have loved to see this at the base of the crucifixion. That would have been great. You know, and these are just studies too. Like yep. these weren't going to be the actual finished products. You know, which the the altar piece was never was never done. I guess, you know, things happen. You know, like, oh, stuff go, left goes on. I'll go clean the <laughs> attic and you never do it. You know, yeah. okay, I'll, I'll paint a crucifixion. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cut yeah, him some yeah. slack. <laughs> it's, it's still spooky, right, guys? <laughs> it's still spooky. It's still spooky. <laughs> so, like, we have, like, these weird creatures. Uh, and you know what does it even more, um, for me at least? What's it's that? just the disharmony in that, in that color palette. It's like... A sallow gray with like this nasty orange in, yeah, in the background. Yeah, that orange is the most dominating thing in this, and it's so uncomfortable to look at. Mm-hmm. Orange, the color of violence. You know, red, the color of anger. This, and then shades of brown in there like, too. It, and figures are almost monochrome, not not completely, but yeah, yeah. But it's just this. It's a weird clash that you wouldn't really see too often. 
except in a Francis Bacon piece. I always like to imagine myself being in front of these figures when I see anything that Francis Bacon paints. Mm -hmm. Like, what? Would, how would you react if this thing was in front of you? You know, like moving around and like screaming at you. Apparently, you know. I, I almost see like these things would just like flail if they did move. Like, especially oh. the one to the right. I think they would be more scared of you. Yeah. Honest. No, I'm being serious. Like, you know, like they'd be like, oh my God, they'd be so weary of you. Because Francis Bacon work that it really does shine light on humanity. Mm -hmm. They shine light on human existence. You know, how, what does it mean to be human? Or why are we so violent to each other? Mm -hmm. You know, this was painted during World War Two. Yeah, when I think like Francis Bacon, because of all the screaming is in, his, in the subject matter, it's, it's almost like this... It's like this intense agony of humanity. Yeah. God, I, I see it as like a reaction mm -hmm. to what is going on around him. It's a reaction to this why... This is 1940s. Yeah, to reaction, why would humans be doing what they're doing? This mm -hmm. is like, this is a year before the atom bomb is dropped. And you know, like for something, to, for something like an atom bomb to be dropped, things had to be bad. And there's already horrible, intense combat during World War Two in Europe. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. and, you know, the, the genocide that's happening to the Jewish people as well. Mm -hmm. So humanity is not at its best when this thing is being painted. And definitely, you get a sense that these figures, as scary as they look, are probably going to be more scared of you mm -hmm. as a human than anything. Thank you, Francis Bacon. Mm -hmm. I love you. And every year you provide us with videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Francis Bacon. <laughs> Uh, what's your final thought in this in this bad thing? Oh man, um, you know me, man. I like it. You like it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the my final thing is looking at it, you know, for as long as we have for this episode, mm -hmm. at least. Uh, I do get like these animal forms, you know, like the the left figure seems like sort of like a vulture. Yeah. The like, crowed, like roosting on something, and then you get like the ostrich, and then a horse kind of looking thing so oh, i see yeah I see. I, see, I see animals yeah i was gonna say if there's something kind of bird-like about the middle one yeah there's definitely something bird like about the middle one. it has like sort of these little like chicken wings <laughs> going on yeah um I, I love the mixing of the religions you know mm -hmm. that's something i didn't know about this piece before coming in and now i do and it just enlightens me so much more but um yeah thank you francis bacon and another successful episode of the art booze so guys if you haven't already please subscribe to us we love seeing new subscribers and we do these videos for you. We love educating you guys and reminding you why art is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Fancy Dave, where else can they find us? Oh, where else? Uh, Twitter, you know, uh, at art underscore bros on Twitter. Uh, you know, I'll have, I'll put up some articles hand selected by me from around the web. And you get to see my shenanigans mm -hmm. around the art world. And see Mike. Being funny. And uh, Facebook, just uh, search The Art Bros or Art Bros, or probably the only page with that name. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. Hit subscribe. Just, yes, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another episode of Art Bros. Bros.